Now, Boeing's first all-new jet for more than a decade has undertaken its maiden test flight this evening after years of production delays. The plane is meant to transform air travel. It's said to be more environmentally friendly and, according to Boeing, will allow passengers to pay less. Rajesh Majandani reports. No passengers on board, but there's a lot riding on this flight. Under threatening skies, Boeing's brand new 787 roared into reality. It's two years behind schedule, but now finally, for the first time, the Dreamliner is taking to the skies. The maiden voyage of a jet, something will revolutionize air travel. Its two British-made Rolls-Royce engines pushed it skyward as hundreds of Boeing workers watched from the field below. Everybody was yelling and screaming, and it's a big relief off of everybody's shoulders. A sense of pride and joy, um, a sense of accomplishment. The 787 is the first commercial plane made largely from lightweight carbon composite materials rather than aluminium. It should use 20% less fuel, and that means lower running costs. We're looking at about a 15% reduction in uh, cost of operation for, for the 787. So we're talking about millions of dollars annually uh, in, in terms of savings. But Boeing faces stiff competition from Europe's Airbus consortium. Its A380 superjumbos use some British parts and have been flying for two years. Airbus is also developing a rival to the Dreamliner. And there are more problems for Boeing. Despite more than 800 orders, the first 787s should have been operating last year. But severe production delays mean it could be another year yet. Some nervous customers have cancelled their orders. Yeah, we're disappointed that some of the people didn't stay with us. But, you know, we think once we demonstrate the efficiency and the affordability of this airplane, we think people will come back and buy it and buy a lot of them. The maiden flight was cut short because of bad weather. After just two hours, Dreamliner 1 set down smoothly in driving rain. In the race for the skies, one crucial milestone has now been passed. Rajesh Merchandani, BBC News in Seattle.